Hi guys, it's Salman here from A Garden Revived and look at all these tulips. I am just so excited and I'm so happy with how these have turned out. It is currently six in the evening right now and they have just done so beautifully. All of the hard work was worth it. I showed you the video and my process for how to plant them and then we even had to cover them up because they started emerging so quickly because we warmed up so suddenly and then we had another drop for like a week or so that was towards freezing and that would have just decimated the blooms <laughs> so all of that hassle was worth it and i hope it serves as a encouragement to my neighbors and those that live in the south as i do that you can grow tulips and it is possible you just have to take certain steps such as pre-chilling and you can do it it's it's quite possible so let me show you the front two flower beds the little cutouts because those look so sweet too these are the front two flower beds and they look so so sweet the way they kind of flank the walkway and then you can kind of see more of the repeated tulips in the background over there just so so fun it took a little bit longer for these to come up so they're still growing and some uh, many of them haven't even bloomed yet but it's nice it's kind of like a successive planting and i think it makes people happy as they walk by they like to watch the tulips so i'm gonna allow these to grow and i'm gonna let the bulbs absorb as much energy as possible the way that's gonna happen is as the flowers die off, I'm going to take the bloom stalk and I'm going to cut it back so it doesn't try to produce any sort of seed or send any unnecessary um, energy. It needs to all go towards the bulb. So what's going to happen is, is that the leaves are eventually going to yellow out and once they've yellowed up and shriveled up, I'm going to cut them back and that's when the bulb would have stored energy that was from the leaves. And then I'm going to dig them up and I'm going to figure out how to exactly store them because I don't think I'll get quite a nice show like this again from these bulbs if I were to leave them in the ground or they would probably go mush from all the moisture we get in this area. I'll have to figure that out and I'll let you know what I do about the bulb. I hope this serves as uh, inspiration for those of you in the south. I do have another 200 tulip bulbs that I ordered pre-chilled from tulipworld.com. Kind of potted up on the south side of the house right now. It stays nice and warm over there. So those are starting to emerge from their pots and I will put those out in the display kind of in the front of the house once these have all kind of bloomed out. So I have even more tulips for even more spring show. And there's a few Dutch iris mixed in there and some hyacinths. So it's exciting to see those pop through. I'd like to encourage you to consider subscribing to the channel. I would love for you to be a part of our family here. I love posting Southern gardening tips on my channel. And I absolutely love posting more photos of my garden on Instagram. I'll put the link down for that below. If you could like the video, I would really appreciate it. It helps others that love videos like this also stumble upon my videos and it would mean a lot. And yeah, anyways, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.